Hey everyone, Paul Hummiller here at Dream Guitars, and it's really nice when I get a chance to share something brand new with you. And I don't just mean a new guitar, but a new shape and design that we've never had before. So here we go. This is from our buddy, uh, Kevin Caton. Um, Kevin's one of our builders. He's been working with us for, I don't know, four or five years now, and really love what he's doing. And this one is a really cool model, so I'm excited. So let's, let's take a look. It's called the Carolina model. How coincidental. No, it's really cool. It's, um, of course, we're located in North Carolina. This is a Carolina model, not named for us, but just the name he chose, I imagine. As you can see, it's an asymmetrical body, which is cool because if you think about tone and how it's generated on a guitar, of course, we all know the strings vibrate the bridge and saddle, which vibrates the top. Now, how many things can you do to alter that and come up with an original sound? Well, of course, you can, you can change all the bracing inside, but you can also change the way it actually hits the top. So if you look close, you'll see that there's a little bit more top space here on the treble side and a little less on the bass side. Um, and it just seems to be giving this one a really, um, it's really energetic. Um, and I really like the way the trebles are really full. So that could be one reason why. Um, and then there's more, as you'll see, as we move around the guitar. So the top here is Engelman, which Engelman is a great spruce. It's typically thought of as a softer spruce, but not necessarily. Every species can be super stiff or soft. It just depends on the tree, of course, which is why builders earn their money tapping the wood and sometimes chewing the wood and figuring out uh, what properties it has before they build the guitar. So this one to me has a really, it's adding a really lush sound to this guitar. It's really full and round. Um, it also has Kevin's special back bevel sound port, which I'll show you in a minute. So the overall effect to the player is a lot of beautiful bass response and general fullness on the whole guitar, really sweet. So again, Engelman spruce on the top, the asymmetrical shape, and then the elevated fingerboard here, you'll see, you can look on the photos, you'll see it better than I can show you here, but the fingerboard extension is not touching the top. Just a clean fingerboard that's also bound and purfled. Really fun stuff to say at the cocktail party. And then I like Kevin's headstock. It's hard to come up with original shapes and, and Kevin has done it on his guitars. Got Godo tuners here. A multiply neck. Um, you know, uh, when a neck is made with multiple pieces like many builders do, it's for strength because glue joints and different woods put together are stronger than just solid mahogany. Um, so that's why they do it and it makes the guitar last a long, long time without having troubles. He does a nice job of carving the heel here so that when you come up to the body, you have a lot of room and you had a, a soft landing spot for your edge of your palm. And then let's have a look at this. This is Catalox. It's also known as Mexican Ebony. Uh, just a beautiful wood. We've had it on a number of guitars um, here in the shop and it always has a great tone. It's a very strong, dense wood. Um, I really like it. It's one of these alternative woods we're starting to see more of um, as we try to save some of the rainforest and such. And it's just lovely. Um, I really like it. I love what Kevin did here with the shading. Really, really beautiful. And it's outlined, of course, with ebony bindings, which really help showcase it. And here you'll see Kevin's um, beveled sound port. So it's a bevel that actually, you know, you don't really hit your body so much here, but if you do, it's, it's a soft beveled edge. But it's hollowed out for the bevel portion. And then look at the photos, you'll be able to see better, but you can see into the whole guitar and, and the bracing. It's really kind of fun as a guitar nerd to just see um, what's driving this thing, what's making the engine tick. And then on the top, of course, we also have a bevel here, which I um, didn't really show you on the way back, but that's overall this guitar is really easy to hold. It's a 16 inch lower bout that sounds sneaky big. I mean, it sounds like a guitar that's 17 inches, but it's a normal 16 inch sort of SJ sort of size guitar. And I really love the voice. So I hope you do too. This is from Kevin Caton. This is the Carolina version.
just wanted to show you one thing about this top, just how active and alive the top is. You can hear by the way I'll, I'll stop and start the top with my arm. So check this out. Mm -hmm. 